Hey everyone, we're getting back into Spiral Dynamics. Those who follow me know that I've been keeping track of progress for quite a few years, and there are many different uh, levels that you can rise towards as you evolve. And I've been mentioning how I was entering into Topaz a few months ago, and uh, I've now completed my, my stage Topaz, and I'm entering into stage Blue Sapphire. That's what I call the, the next stage after Topaz. And the reason why I like that it's Blue Sapphire is because it, it resonates as blue, right? And blue implies mythologies come back into the picture. So the lack of fear of mythologies is something I appreciate, even if it's not actually 100% accurate in the future. Um, I also like that it's a gem because some people are calling clear uh, emerald and some people have coined uh, uh, topaz, to uh, you know, it's a stone. So now we have another stone after topaz, which is blue sapphire. And of course, if someone changes the name, I'm not picky. Um, also, people have different models, so maybe they overlap, maybe they don't. That's also going to be discussed and understood at some point. And the more you rise and evolve, the more you understand previous stages. And so let us get into it. What is Stage Topaz about? So I'm literally going back to my notes that I wrote in December of 2021. I haven't looked at it really in a long time. And I'll just tell you what I wrote. And I will tell you from a Stage Blue Sapphire perspective whether or not I agree with it still. Okay, if that's what the stage was. Because what I find is that you are less qualified to talk about the stage you're in when you're in it because you become biased about that stage. Oh, it's such a good stage. You know, everyone else thinks in the future. Everyone else thinks in the past. And it's really best to have a stage that, uh, that you're talking about that is before the one you're in. You're also more objective, which is the idea. All right, so Stage Topaz on December 29th, 11.50 a.m., I wrote, is attuned to sounds, okay? So you become instinctive again. Uh, instinctive refers to the idea that you factor in more of the base senses, things that you hear and see. Things become more important to you. Things become more new. Interesting, right? Um, and that's going to go into my understanding of Stage Blue Sapphire, why why something's going to happen in the middle of stage topaz. Basically, you start having visions in stage topaz, like real visions. Uh, you'll start to see, you'll start to see images of symbols um, that prophets have seen. Like I've, I've been seeing the Dyson sphere, which is an angel. The Dyson sphere is an angel. Um, the Ophanim is the angel. Is it plural, is it singular? So the Ophanim is a device, it's a mechanical device that has eyes on it, so it's a living device. And this device may very well be a time machine. <laughs> you know, so there's a lot to get into. Um, it goes beyond time and space, you know, it's it's basically God's chariot, all right? So the Ophanim are God's, it's God's chariot, or, you know, a version of it. But that's something to put to the side for now. It's not the, the essential component of the stage. It's just something I realized as I was doing this work. So stage uh, topaz is attuned to sounds because PY instincts go up to learn things to avoid or be aware of. Hence, implied paranoia could have been confused for this, uh, a confused diagnosis. This, um, this is where symptoms of schizophrenia begin. It's after stage clear. And of course, I believe that in every PY stage, you become more impulsive. So you can get labeled as a disorder in any stage. Um, and there's also the healthy and non-healthy versions of things. There's the more chaotic versions and the less chaotic versions, the more stabilized versions and the more proactive versions, right? And neither one is good and neither one is bad. You can even argue that sometimes the chaotic version is necessary and usual, whereas the calm version is less frequent and not usual. Uh, same idea. Now, okay, stage topaz master posts. We're gonna go through each category of what they are. All right, so what, is, what happens in stage topaz? You have higher alertness. You're confused for being paranoid. And two, embraced weirdness. So they accept that they won't fit in. So the stage topaz kind of stops trying to impress people. People are not gonna understand me, I'm too advanced. That's one aspect that I was saying in the notes. But another aspect is people won't 
even if people don't understand me, it doesn't matter because I'm my own person. I li- have my own beliefs. That's fine. You can disagree with me. Um, for You can reject me for being completely crazy in terms of my appearance, in terms of the way I act. Um, as long as I can avoid jail, you know, because someone will think I'm a crazy person with messy hair, that's fine. Uh, I will be okay with being seemed as weird for believing that there is such a thing as a time machine that relates to the angels and the Masa Merkava. Uh, encouraged by an unconscious mechanism to form groups of like-mindedness. Okay, so my theory at the time was that you start to create um, cults. Now, this doesn't mean cults in the, neg- in the derogatory sense. It means groups of like-minded people. That's how I define a cult, and people don't define it that way, but there is no such thing as a group of people that are not adopting each other's assumptions, and those assumptions form reality. So therefore, everything is a cult. So when people say cults are bad, cults are good. No, everything is a cult. Cults are neutral. They're not bad. They're not good. People like Leo Gura need to remember this because even his online form is a cult. It's just not. It's just more objective than other groups. It's more holistic. It doesn't mean it's not a cult, and I'm not trying to insult you. But just the word cult applies to everything, uh, including the scientific community. So therefore it negates itself, and so it's not a cult. Nothing's a cult. All right, that's a separate thing. Um, But basically, you'll want to have a group of like-minded people who see things on par with you. Encouraged by an unconscious mechanism to form groups of like-mindedness, tribal teeny clans. Now, do I agree with this from a stage blue sapphire perspective? Yes. You will, you will gravitate towards people who might agree with you, and you'll try to get them on par with what you're saying, even if they don't agree with you. And you'll do it in a way that you know they'll be forced to follow through with the systems that are currently at play. Meaning you'll know how to navigate the system to, um, to, to make them agree, to, to, make, to say things in a way that they agree with. A dream of an ancient spirit, an old woman in a boat, telling me to seek the people of my own kind. Yeah, this was a weird dream. And she told me to seek the gold people. Because I was doing research at the time about gold people. So this revealed to me the V-meme of the stage includes exclusion, not inclusion. Three. They approach the the RN system of depriving people of their needs without compassion as a mental illness in society. That's true. Stage uh, stage orange is a mentally ill stage. Um, This is not bashing them. You actually need productivity in the world. You need organized international laws. You need all the stuff that comes with stage orange. But but the problem with stage orange is they perpetuate a system where they stay there. So this was known in stage coral, and again, once you reach stage topaz, it's so frustrating that you just understand, yeah, they have a mental illness and they won't change. It's just, it's just the reality. You can't force them to change. Uh, you have to do it through, through ways that involve um, humiliating their own ideology passively. Like, you have to get them to see the absurdity of their own beliefs. And so it's kind of a double-edged sword there, because it just... It hurts everyone, you know, but it's the only way. To get them to see how ignoring other people is actually a bad thing. <laughs> and to get them to see that that's what they're doing with the, their emphasis on capitalistic systems that don't help those who got left behind. And those who say this is stage green, you're coming from a stage yellow perspective. <laughs> this is totally not your ball game, so please don't get involved. They choose not to act knowing there is nothing they can do about it, but to avoid these mentally ill people known as society. So now in stage blue, uh, sorry, stage blue sapphire, I now say that you should get involved. And my understanding is that they do encourage people to get involved. But they do it in a way that's, that's people don't know their intent. Because stage orange, it's not that they'll care that you're trying to, dis- to dismantle what they've created, but... You're not trying to dismantle it, you're trying to evolve it. You're trying to change it. So, so that's what's happening. So it's a little different than I used to believe. You're, you're getting more involved. You're not, you're not getting lost in your little bubble. Maybe early stage topaz you'll, be, you'll want that because you feel so different from other people. But then mid-stage topaz you'll resolve if you don't have a group of people already for sure. If you, don't. If you do, you can get lost in stage topaz perhaps. Uh, but then w- once you kind of 
don't pressure yourself to find a group, um, then you'll be able to, to, to work that out. The concept of making money is merely re reflexive, instinctive. The notion of money is archaic. Right, so I came across a stage orange person and he said to me, no, no he didn't say to me, he said on this podcast that, because everyone is speaking to me, right, I guess that's where I'm coming from. Uh, I'm just going to exit out of this, I guess. In this. He said in this podcast that money is not illusory, but he's coming from a stage orange perspective. At the same time, you have Elon Musk. Isn't he stage coral? He knows about the simulation theory. So the only way I can understand Elon Musk is that he's actually believing in the simulation theory. He doesn't actually believe money's a construct. Unless, of course, he has a double life. And the only way to sustain his orange lifestyle is if he pretends that he doesn't know it's a, it's a, it's a belief system. A belief system that could be manipulated by everyone such that the energy shifts so that everyone can get taken care of in a way that doesn't involve recessions, you know. Um, right, so is he not in stage coral? So it's possible he's not, or it could also be that it's the only way for a stage coral to navigate in an orange society. I don't know what to view him as, because I, I, I know for sure that it's a belief system. You can cr use your beliefs as a society to re... But if everyone has beliefs that on stage orange, then you won't be able to enhance the system. It's not going to happen. So therefore, yeah, you're right that money is a serious thing, but it's only because people are already operating on a very low stage of development. So it's a cycle. Uh, the next thing is they no longer get insulted by things. Image becomes non-existent. Yeah, 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 yeah. When people insult me, I don't get insulted because stage Topaz is more interested in survival needs because it's a PY stage. So the only reason why image is important because image implies that I can survive. I can live. I, I won't die. So when you have your basic needs, you won't get in. You'll, you'll start to move into stage blue sapphire. So the way to move into stage blue sapphire is just get your basic needs. And those basic needs usually involve understanding. It usually involves a small group of people. Um, Image becomes non-existent, nothing to defend except their own sanity. I don't focus on sanity as much. I think that as you integrate, as you get people to see what your ideas are about, you won't have, you won't, you won't even worry that people will think that you're insane. I wrote in parentheses, you don't, you don't hang around screaming monkeys in a zoo cage. Unless you're one. Unless you are one or are attending the zoo. So that's why they rather go outside of it. Of course, if you try to change it, so, so if you try to change it, which I'm trying to, well, I'm, I care about changing it only because I have to, because I need to make money, and it happens to be my desire to change it overlaps making money. Um, but I, I don't think stage show passes will end up being like me. They'll they'll choose to go their own way, you know, create little uh, cliques, <laughs> like clans, of people who have these powers, you know. Oh, and you do develop superpowers. Magic is real. That's stuff you realize later on. And you could, like, my friend has be believed in magic for a long time, and I'm starting to believe in it. And he is, I thought he was maybe green, maybe teal, you know, teal as in um, violet. Um, maybe maybe clear, because he taps into the Akashics, and he has vivid visions sometimes, you know. So which stages, yeah, and, you know, this, this needs to be, delve into because really the the comparability of the integral model is actually compared to a a Dyson sphere where there's spheres within spheres. I had visions of this and I couldn't say it because I couldn't tell people I was having visions right away. But now it's known. I'm known I put my in my description I'm a psychic. Uh, the, the Dyson sphere is what the integral model is. There's spheres within spheres, there's points within points and they shift and they and they move and there's spheres that come out of spheres. Layers upon layers and dimensions within dimensions. 
And so that's why you need quantum computers to calculate this. And then once we figure that out, we'll be able to see, to predict the future and, and understand what's going to be and, and where is the trajectory of the planet, where's the trajectory of human civilization and stuff like that. And that'll be incredible for the future. Opinion spoken by tier one feels like patronizing monkeys speaking with voice boxes. And the clash isn't healthy for a topaz's psychology. So what's interesting is that in stage topaz, you're starting, you, you get symptoms of like these mental illnesses, but a lot of people have mental illness and they're not in stage topaz. So what's going on here? So when you, when you, when your ego gets brutalized for long enough, you start to tap into the upper left quadrant because the ego starts to dissolve or it changes in a, in a strange way or unusual way. And so they maybe have similar abilities sometimes because they were so beaten down. Um, so I wouldn't say they're stage topaz, but they're definitely tapping into it in some fashion. I agree with this now. They have a different kind of intuition, the ability to move on from things when they happen that, you know, right away. Um, that could be misdiagnosed for bipolar because one minute they're angry, the next minute they're getting over that anger and moving on to the, to the next step in life. Um, they had a conflict in relationship, then they, it quickly clears up. Uh, now that not, that's not necessarily healthy, but the ability to switch from one thing to the next, despite the bottom right quadrant conflict that took place, that's a really high stage of development, even though a lot of people with symptoms of mental illnesses are undergoing that. Uh, and Clash isn't healthy for Tobesa. January 18th, 2.38 p.m. I wrote, empathy begins to fade from mid-clear onwards. <laughs> yeah, well, I wouldn't say empathy fades. I would say caring that you don't have empathy fades. Because you will care. You just won't care. You won't be as attached to the caring. So that's more accurate. Now, in Sage Tobias, you're more focused on your own survival. So it does make sense that there's a stronger emphasis on personal survival than there is on the other person. They start desiring clans again as topaz, mid-clear. Okay, so mid-clear is the beginning of stage. So anytime you reach the 50% the zone of any stage, it's always the beginning of the next stage. So you'll have qualities of the next stage. That's how it works. And of course, because there's the masculine and the feminine uh, idea, you always have the masculine and feminine infuse into your being. So you'll have the previous stage of clear all the way into the beginning of topaz. And then you'll have tidbits of, of blue sapphire, right, which is a feminine stage, but always budding in in the beginning of blue, in the beginning of blue sapphire. Uh, beginning of topaz, I mean. So you see how that's working out. But actually, the 50% the mark you would have to reach. Okay, fine. So it's the 50% zone. All right, but you see how complex this is. And it's not necessarily 50%. It's just an average. And on average, when you get to the middle of the stage, whatever that middle is defined as, you'll start having little colors from the next stage. It isn't mathematical, and it's diverse, and it, the same way electrons pass through a slit, and you can't predict it. There's an average, yes, but it's all over the place. So colors can be sporadic and everywhere, and sometimes there's an outlier that completely doesn't make sense, and it's all the way out there. And so that's how you have to approach it. I'm just giving you a mathematical average to kind of pinpoint where these things lie. First half clear is empathy. Latter half is moving away from empathy and into objectivity. Okay. Sorrow or guilt diminishes in early topaz. Number eight. You may start viewing people from the, from the its quadrant. So you're starting to objectify people. Um, yeah, they're tools, you know. They're, 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 I have a relationship because it's rational. It's what helps me survive. Now, this is the same exact thing happened in Coral. Because every four stages, the, the instincts come out. But depending on your needs, will that appear less developed, you know? Like if you're if you're suffering, you don't have your needs met, and you're a topaz. Yeah, you're gonna be you're gonna seem more psychopathic than the guy who has his needs fulfilled, and he has the capability to take the time to to listen to someone's problems, to hear every minutia about what's going on with them. Like I lost a, a follower and friend uh, because I sound I sounded too impartial. I sounded too um, what's the word in English? Um, empath not em apathetic. I sound a little apathetic because. 
uh, it seemed like I didn't care if they were my friend or not. And so they blocked me. And the truth is, I do care. But I also understand that if you care that I don't care, or I might not care, and therefore you don't like that about me, and therefore you block me, I can't hold that against you. I have to act to accept that. And that's what I was trying to say. But they misunderstood it to be, I don't care if you block me. No, I wasn't trying to say that. I was saying, if you block me, then it must be, it must be that, it's, that it's okay. I don't care if you block me. I don't care if you not block me. But they were expecting from a stage blue and stage green perspective, because they have both of the feminine stages, that that's their character, that I would be in the bottom left quadrant and empathize and sympathize. Especially because I called myself Jesus on Twitter. So they had these assumptions about me. Uh, number nine, the theory of superpowers in stage topaz has to do with your creation capacity. Tapping at the truth and using... So the assumption is that there is such a thing as superpowers. And you start to understand what that means. And you start to adopt superpowers. You start to utilize your powers. So what's a superpower that I discovered? I discovered many. One is the ability to read books in a day. I just read a thousand page book in a single, in a couple hours. Because I have a speed reading technique that I have in my, I talk about in my Patreon, where I go really, really fast and the mind automatically picks it up. And the unconscious mind too is a factor in all this, which is uh, esoteric sciences. And there's also the extrapolation ability, which is connected to the upper right quadrant. But at the same time, the extrapolation ability is also in the upper left quadrant. Because there's a reason why you extrapolate. It's because you have a sense of how things are working. So therefore, you learn that the upper right and the upper left are intertwined. And they never leave each other. And they're always connected to each other. There's always a thing to explain the upper right and a thing to explain the upper left using their own different reasoning. Using the other as a basis without realizing it. But the upper right will de deny that and say, the upper left has nothing to do with me. Abstract notions are abstract notions. They're not real. But the upper left says... It's important. So the upper left factors in the upper right, but the upper right doesn't factor in the upper, the upper left. So they have the upper right usually has arrogance, and the upper left usually has humility or some kind of thing that could resonate as humility to certain to mo to most to a lot of people. All right, I have to keep going because if I don't keep speaking, people are just gonna x out of this. They start desiring clans, I said. May start uh, the, uh, people from, okay, the theory of superpowers in stage topaz has to do with your creation capacity. So so creation is understood differently in stage topaz. And so therefore, you, you develop superpowers by your own, your own ability to create those powers. Concretize the truth about what is going on. You're using the upper right and the upper left. Ironically. Now, if you're in you have a disorder and you can only stay in the upper right quadrant um, for whatever reason. Uh, so those, those people will have a hard time having superpowers because that's not rational because I follow the collect the bottom right quadrant's understanding of how reality functions. Um, and there's two versions of bottom right quadrant. There's the bottom right quadrant that adopts religious understandings of God and cause and effect. And there's the bottom right quadrant that understands science uh, in terms of cause and effect. So the bottom right quadrant is, has their, their, has dogma related to the rational, dogma related to the irrational. Uh, but of course, to a religious person, the irrational is rational. And the science is another version of rational. Right? It's like a tool of the rational. Uh, so, but therefore, they're both the same uh, without realizing that they're they're neglecting the upper left quadrant in most cases or in ways that are relevant enough to understand how reality is working. Okay. As such, that gives you a higher ability to manipulate reality or matter, even fiddle with gravity more easily. This is one of the reasons for obtaining superpowers. Yeah. So if you have superpowers, you have superpowers... And there are limitations to what you can tell people because I personally don't believe that you can float things with your mind. You know, like, I can just float this up uh, with my mind. Um, now, I believe that people can, can do that, but it often has to do with a collective body being okay with it. 
believing that you you can do it, and and that's not good, that's not going to happen <laughs> in a scientific world. So so there are limits to this. Um, you know, you have to stick with what you know is possible. The superpowers that you know is possible. Like the superpowers I know is possible is I can clear up the clouds with my with my chest. I just go like this, and I cl- and I clear it up. I have a superpower. You know, you, you can put me on record as as saying I have a superpower and call me crazy. I, c- I can show you how it works, because the energetic system is connected to the external environment, related to the psyche in regard to what makes you happy. The sun makes us happy. It's built in, at least for me. But as such, it causes me to be have that a superpower. But that's an energetic thing that also cor- corresponds to synchronicity and a movement of energy among the psyche of the populace. So, so that needs to be explored and analyzed. Uh, but people can gain their own superpowers that defy. So that defies the upper right quadrant. But some people may have a superpower where they float things. But if, but if I don't believe in that, then I'm gaslighting them. Maybe they do have that ability, and I would like to see it. Uh, and I just haven't learned that ability yet. So just because I have it myself, do I agree that it's possible? So I have to, uh, ad- I have to develop that ability in order to believe it's possible. But it doesn't seem fair. And the only way they're going to come out with that ability is if they, is if they, you know, is if they don't think that I'm going to gaslight them. But even if I don't gaslight them, a part of my psyche will, and that's the ego. And so. We have to, I have to believe it so that my ego believes it, and that's going to take time. I have to really believe it in a process that will make sense to me so that I can witness it and uh, other people doing it. And I'll get, like, videos about it. Oh, how do they do that? And, oh, it's not a trick. Okay. Attuned to sounds because PY instincts go up. They go up to learn things to avoid or to be aware of, hence implied paranoia. I mentioned that earlier. December 29th, pasted February 5th again. We realize everything is possible, number 12. And so thinks, uh, State Show Buzz thinks in a way that disregards preconceived notions of reality. They're able to separate themselves from other people's opinions. Um, and discoveries are continuous and never halted. I mean, they're always thinking of new discoveries. The thing that, like, a stage orange discovers, like, one thing in, like, a blue moon every six, seven months, eight months. But State Show Buzz is just thinking of things that Stage Orange thinks of every few months, every single day. Sometimes a few of these things a day. Uh, preconceived notions of reality discovery is continuous. This could explain the psychology of Edison and Tesla. Maybe they were tapping into Topaz. Now, people say they were tapping into Coral. And, he, you know, so which one is it? Uh, well, based on my four patterns, perhaps you can tap, you can skip. You can tap into both the Coral and the Topaz because there's a correspondence. So the correspondence of, of, uh, of Teal Violet uh, would, be, would be stage Blue Sapphire. So the moment you're in stage uh, Violet, you're tapping into blue sapphire. You can't. You have the potential to do that. So there is that idea there. H and Tobaz portion or because it's parallel portion or four Q rare sections. What does H M stand for? Okay, I don't know. I'll have to look back at it. Stage Topaz thirteen gets into the why's reality. Why do things occur the way they do? What's the reasoning behind it? Whereas stage Coral cared about acceptance. And as such, the why of reality is mainly accessible once reaching enlightenment, and you no longer chase anything. It's more readily accessible. So you're not once you reach stage hope as there's such a disconnect from there's such a disconnect from attachments. I mean, you may have a few attachments left, but there's it's such you're so disconnected from it that it's it's a different it's a different way of viewing reality and functioning. I can't say you're like a robot because you're not like you're not upper right quadrant, but you have the capacity to absorb information, you know, in a way that you didn't think humans uh, could do. Now, when it comes to details, uh, I don't think I'm a detail oriented, but I do have ADHD, you know, so it could be that someone who's topaz doesn't have ADHD will will have a different experience uh, in how they process information. This was February 7th, 2022. This also touches upon territory for why males are usually the enlightened ones. What was I talking about here?
I don't know. It could be that males are more of a thinking species. Females are more just go with the flow. It could, it could be what I was uh, thinking about. I'm not sure. Number 14, con uh, consider themselves enlightened without an ego. Is that true? Yeah, I think it's true. <sighs> Intellect becomes more important than hormones, which are understood to be mechanical. Dwarfs the no pride facet in coral. Stages between turquoise and clear tend not to consider themselves enlightened. Topaz does not be. Uh, Topaz does does consider because nothing will interrupt their knowledge of what it what it is, even if they never heard of spiral dynamics. What do I mean by this? I wrote this on February seventh, four fourteen p.m. All right, we'll keep going. Raining on reality it might be topaz. They tend, oh, raining with, like as in ruling over reality because they tend to value the mutation, the metatron cube as crucial for answers about the universe. They also extrapolate from anything and use metaphor to synthesize ideas. Knowing people, who under, knowing people won't understand the depths of what they are saying anyways. So double meanings become important, but in a way that people don't realize there is a double meaning. It could be. I haven't thought about it. I, I write in a way that does do that, but I, st I, I started using Grammarly on, on, uh, on, you know, online to help with my grammar. So I, it tends to take away the double meanings that I write. But I think I was caref more careful when, you, when you're more careful navigating. 16, they get into the details of how we are creating reality, whereas in Aubergine, they focus more on the spirit causing your mind to create reality. <laughs> spirit. I don't know about that. The Aubergine doesn't necessarily believe in parts. They believe that you're creating reality. They believe the mind is creating reality, but they don't believe in spirit creating reality. They don't necessarily call it a spirit. Uh, but they have an understanding that the spirit, your spirit is the wider spirit. Yeah, so that's true. Where am I reading? Oh, they focus more on the spirit. Okay, less causal forces and more scientific geometry in relation to the mind. Is that true? Because I got into scientific geometry in Topaz... Oh, but apparently the sun, the, oh, okay, I know what it's saying. You know when people post like Metatron cube shapes and all this stuff, they're interested in the geometry of the universe. So if you're just interested in generic geometry because it's, it correlates to the universe, that's stage Aubergine. That's uh, before enlightenment, before clear. But if you want to use it to understand the, how reality works, you understand there's a correlation and not just a general idea, then you're advanced. Then you're talking about the whys of existence. Is, do I disagree with that now? I don't know. I don't, I don't think so. I think, I think it makes sense. 17. The view rea they view reality mechanically. The emotions become less significant as a byproduct. Unconventional thinking based upon a deeper layer of understanding that did not exist in Tier 3. Example, sounds relate to how big monoliths are lifted. The concept of using sounds to define nature. What does that mean? Okay, so I think I, think I was thinking of a theory at the time um, to use vibrations to, to defy gravity. And because anti-gravity is, is a thing you could create anti-gravity. You could create a, a force that defies gravity if you just, you know, use the right conduit, the right machinery. Um, so I think thinking in those terms is what we're talking about. Vagueness of exploration is like 
discoidal squeezing their way through space. They say what needs to be said, but not more than that. What did I mean by this? Vagueness of exploration is like discoidal squeezing their way through space. Oh, I think I meant um, searching for answers that relate to general ideas. I think that's what it is. Topaz might look like a healthy coral. Topaz might look like a healthy coral. Intense emotions move quickly through emotions because they are one with the rhythm of now. 20. Complete detachment from honor. They are very compassionate people. <laughs> Added February 10th, 2022 at 5.51 p.m. I don't know, I don't know what I uh, was getting at there. 22, the Topaz's natural state is to do the very novel things stage teal slash violet understands to be ideal because they don't need to think about what is best for them. It's a natural way of being. February 23rd, 2.57 p.m. December 25th, 10.35 p.m. Stage clear. Disasso oh, wait, that's stage clear. All right, so we went through everything. And unfortunately, I did not fix the grammar or punctuation before that. But there you have uh, my take on stage topaz. Now stage blue sapphire is going to be a different stage. I don't know how much a person can evolve. Um... Uh, the re the reason how you can evolve is if you have a system that doesn't force you into a, a different system that in passing is contingent on the bottom right quadrant, which is the values and norms of that system. For example, if society says you have to work a nine to five, you're going to be like this advanced tier doing what a, a stage orange does. Then you'll need to go on medication to operate with those functions with the functions that are necessary for stage orange thinkers. And then once you're on medication, you become stage orange because you're fitting exactly what they're doing. And their priorities may shift to be similar to yours in some, in many ways. Then people say you're stage green. People say, oh, you have some yellow budding. But no, you're actually a very advanced here, forced into an orange system because they don't want to give you money, UBI. They don't want to say, oh, you function differently. Well, how, about, how about we help you? So that's an issue there. And... My advice is to uh, anyone past stage turquoise, no less stage uh, stage uh, teal, right? Violet should be assisted by the government, by integral theory, by Ken Wilber. You know, um, I mean, his logic will be, well, there are thousands of you out there. I can't, I can't uh, afford everyone. Uh, you know, the other thing is, you know, he has to prove to the academic world that people like us exist and it's a real thing in nature. And until he does that, he doesn't want to just go in. Uh, he doesn't want to just invest in, in random people. Um, and it makes sense in theory, but it's, it's forcing me to get a job. I, I now have to get a regular job and I, I don't know what's going to be. I can't fit in. I can't function. I may have to go on medication. And then if I'm on medication too long, it may change me. I may have to go on other medication to deal with the side effects. And then those side effects will lead to other medication uh, related to digestion and breathing and this and that and anxiety. Uh, and so it's, it's, a, it's a whole domino effect of, of problems uh, because some people just don't want to uh, take a stand. Uh, there's not much you can do about that. <clears throat> 